Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of The Quarry. Last time we left off, we did a bunch of things with the Hackett family. And, uh, wow, Bucksnax has been updated, thank you for that. Um, we've been doing a bunch of things with the uh, Hackett family and... Killed one of them, stabbed another. I can't help, I I'm bummed that I didn't work with them, but I can't help but feel like maybe things would have went slightly better for them if they hadn't acted so damn creepy all the time. Like, if you just sat the kids down and were like, Hey, we're trying to help you. We're also trying to defeat the werewolves. Instead of saying vague-ass shit like bloat them and just throwing us in cages and not explaining anything. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't have been bad. And yes, so really, it's their fault, if you think about it, that um, I blew mom's head off and everything. And yes, I am joking in an effort to make myself feel better about my decision. But without further ado, let us continue. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find a usable car here. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped for parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Okay, well, it's handy that there's a- oh, hey, we're playing as Dylan. It's handy that there's a junkyard here, because we can just find the bit that Jacob lost in the lake. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, if you really sit down and think about it, all of this is Jacob's fault. <laughs> just because Jacob wanted to see his, uh, his girl for one more day that didn't even actually want anything with him. To do with him. So, yeah, Jacob. You really fudged the bucket, you know? Really, you really fucked everything up. Car. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Okay. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Okay. I was a bit scared there. I thought something was going to happen, but nothing did, luckily. If I see a werewolf now, I'm sorry. I'm I'm probably just going to shoot it. Um So, yeah. I mean, one one of the werewolves has already died that was in the cage. I don't know who that was. That could have been Max or something. I I don't know. But uh I also feel like that werewolf would have killed Jacob when the gates opened if I hadn't killed it with uh Lara, so that's a thing. It's easy to second guess yourself in these games, but you really do just gotta go through and not worry about it. Hindsight is 2020 and all that. There's no point in getting anxious and stressing out over it. Alright, so. Fuck off. Oh. Well, thank you for that. Jackass. Why did that turn on? It's motion sensor again, I guess. Yeah, they mentioned motion sensor lights last time, I do believe. Just trying to walk around every corner here to make sure I'm not missing the card. Can't be that many left. I think there's, what, three? Uh, L1. There we go. Yeah, so we only have a few left. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got death and sun right now, so... Huh, I wonder how many more chapters are left. We're on, like, what, chapter 8 or 9? Can't remember if it's 8 or 9 that we're currently on. Alright, well, let's hug this right wall. Check everything over here. Go over here. Anything? No. Whole lot of nothing. Alright, well, let's go over here. At this point, I just feel like I don't want all of the characters that are currently alive to die. If I could just save the rest of them, I'll at least feel a little vindicated. I just don't want the ending where everyone is dead. <laughs> Preferably. So... That looks like it'll progress the scene, right? That's a big gate. So we probably want to avoid that. What's over here? A cod? Pick a cod. Any cod. 
No card? No card. Not even a, a, some conspicuous uh, evidence thrown away in the dumpster. Damn. I'm playing too much. Well, not been playing, but I have played too much L.A. Noir. Is that a button? Looks like a trackball. What is a trackball for? Probably not what it is, but... Oh, wow, it's very dark over here. In case you were wondering. Uh, okay. Well, let's just, uh... I don't know, that... Oh, does that open the... No, I don't think that would open the gate, right? I don't know, it looks like a big button. Let's go up here first. They, well, I imagine we'd walk up to the gate and we would either open it or say it's locked. I don't know, but this seems like the more optional path up here, so... Full moon, yeah. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Yeah, it is just... It is just rough for the kids, because they don't know that the hunters don't want to hurt them. Obviously, I know based off of various hints from the games and everything, but they're terrified of them, and the hunters are just, you know, they give off a spooky aura. SUV, body damage, scrapyard notes, so. The scrawled request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy to say the least. There must be something here they don't want anyone to know about. Okay, more stuff to find. Ooh, we're almost done with Camp History, we're almost done with Hackett History, and we're almost done with Freak Show. Keep this off the books. Who's T? T mm. Travis. We know. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it. Hackett family sketchy. Still not gonna make me feel good about blowing Constance's head off, but... <laughs> I mostly just feel sorry for Bobby. And, and I mean, I feel sorry for all of them, let's be fair. But Bobby's reaction to getting stabbed was just like, oh, now I feel awful. Uh, and of course, uh, Papa's reaction to Constance being dead was not good either. Uh, Jebediah, wasn't that his name? I said Papa, it was Paw. Okay, so I was right. That is what opens the gate. Cool. Okay. <sighs> Are we gonna end up in a documentary? No. Shut up. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I love Dylan. <laughs> the sense of humor is appreciated now. That th that everything's gone to shit. It is very very much appreciated. Where are you going, Caitlin? Over here. Why am I leading the way? I'm missing a hand and you have the gun. Of course, we didn't even use the gun before, so... But I'll use it this time, damn it. Alright, anything over here? No. Surprised I didn't find another card back there. That's what I was kind of looking for. Oh no, not a break in the path. Ah, Jesus. So what... Oh god, which way is progress? I don't know, maybe they both lead to the same area, like what happened before. Or maybe this is a little loop to give me a spook of a werewolf looking at me and then... We can head back that way. Yeah, it looks like that may loop back over there. Uh-huh. That leads to something. Alright, so let's walk down this path too, because you never know. Could be a cod, any cod. Eh? Don't spook me like that. Hello? Ah! Fuck. Ah! Sorry, that was... scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? You both are bad. <laughs> No, don't walk there. There was a place to explore back there, but I didn't know which way was progress. D turn your ass around. Turn around. There we go. Back over here, Caitlin. I don't know where your ass is going, but I'm going back over here. I want to make sure I don't miss stuff. Any more so than I already have. 
They definitely made it so this game seems primed for replay value. Just with all the stuff that's so easy to miss and everything. Wait, is this not up? Oh my god, are there just multiple paths to everything? Shit. Yeah, this totally just links right back over here. Wow, why even give me the option of two paths if... There doesn't appear to be anything special down either of them. Very weird. Give, the, give you the illusion of choice or something? I don't know. Huh. So yeah, this is where I left Caitlyn, right? Yeah, there's the busted light. Okay. Cool. Yep, and that's that little path we could go to. Okay. Yeah, there's just a lot of paths through here. Alright. Well, wasn't anything down any of them, as far as I could tell, so... Up the stairs we go. Oh, hiccup, please. Now is not the time. Alright. I am on a shipping container. Great, the light turned off. I don't like that. I don't like that the light turned off. Uh... Well, it looks like there's a staircase over there. I don't want to go over there. Aha! There's Judgment. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Judgment card. Spawns a beggar in Binding of Isaac. Judgment. Judgment Day is upon us. That's what you'd expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision. Tipping the balance one way or another, take your time, think, and maybe survive. Well, taking my time and thinking has screwed me over on some of these because I overthought it, so... Alright, um, I don't know who some of these characters are, so this is Caitlyn. I have no idea who you are, unless you're just Silas? I... And this appears to be... Lara? I'm not gonna like having to choose between death and judgment. That sucks. Hmm. Yeah, all of these seem like good options, that blows. Oh well, um... Let's just go over here, why don't we? Uh, okay, once again, another illusion of choice path. Damn it all. Where does that one lead down to? That one leads down to there. This is the whole thing. I'm gonna go the other path too. Over here. I imagine that's probably all the cards that we're gonna get in this chapter, because... I think we have one more chapter left, so we probably get the final two there. Well, no, that wouldn't make sense, because then we wouldn't be able to choose, but... Well, the fortune teller really had me choose between five cards. That would be so rude. Okay, yep. Another staircase over here. Okay, is going up there what we want to... Oh, yeah, that car works. The light is on. Okay, wait, that's Laura and Max's car, isn't it? Okay, so that's probably where we need to go. So let's avoid that like the plague. Yeah, I think that's Laura and Max's car. I think that's what they rode in on. Okay, cool. I feel like the werewolf that was shot was Max. But it could have just as easily been Nick, I suppose. Not sure. I would like Nick to survive, but I guess it would be fitting if both him and Abigail died. <laughs> as sad as that is. Uh, okay, can't go over here. What, Caitlin? Please move out of the way. Alright. Still wish the game had, like, a little jog you could do, you know? We walk so damn slowly. But they want you to explore the big environments because that's where all the cards and everything are hiding, so... I just wish we had a slight little jog. You know that, like, open-world AAA game jog that they do where it's just slightly faster than the walk, but it feels worth it? Ah, another harem scarum clue. Discarded signage. The torn and broken remains of an old sideshow attraction. Okay, yeah, this is chapter 9. The way they're intertwined with the rest of the scrap shows they've been sitting here for a long time. What's this? Aram scare. Seeing this, Caitlin?
God, all I can think of when I hear Harem Scarum is, this is going to be quite the poll, but I think it was Civilization Revolution for the consoles. It was basically a console civilization game. Um, one of your, some of your units when you selected them would say, Farum Farum, and that's all I can think of. <laughs> Very weird poll, I know. Why did I even mention it? But it's all I can think of. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go back here because... I definitely feel like this isn't progress. We have seen progress. It's over there. Let's just explore this path a little bit. I really hate the sound of these lights turning on. Couldn't they have made them turn on a little bit quieter? You know, to like save their sanity. I gotta say, the Hackets are quite badass werewolf hunters. You know? Not, maybe not quite the Belmonts, because the Belmonts also just hunt all supernatural things, not just vampires, but... The, the, the Hackets, they're fine, you know? Okay at their job, I would say. When a bunch of kids aren't interrupting <laughs> their well-laid their well -laid plans. Alright, so... Let's just go back over here. There wasn't anything down that path. So, I guess we're just good to go up there and grab Lara and Max's car, huh? So wait, let me- let me rewatch That tarot. I'm pretty sure the chariot tarot was about- Like, this is the van, right? Maybe it isn't. That looks like the junkyard behind us. Right? Doesn't that look like a stacked up car? Oh, wait a second. Maybe this is here. Possibly? We still have to see Wheel of Fortune play out too, but maybe I avoided that somehow? Hmm. Okay, well... Uh, let's just, uh, go up here. Yeah, maybe it's this. Okay, so, if, if this is that scene, then I need to open the door. Maybe it just happens later than I thought? Okay. Where are we at now? Oh, okay, we're still you two. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh-oh, I hear that now. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Anxious, can I have a gun? Encouraging, watch my back. I wouldn't be able to do anything with the gun. It's a shotgun. I wouldn't really be able to fire it well because I couldn't hold it with both hands, so... Uh, encouraging, watch my back. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I would rather Caitlyn have the gun. We are missing a hand, and Caitlin is good with it. Come on, Dylan. Gotta protect you, friend. I was also very good at claw games as a kid. Alright. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Alright, not too complicated. Welcome back, Grabber. What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Here goes nothing. Whose music was that? <laughs> Don't squish Caitlyn, please. You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! What did I just hear? 
Dylan. What? Uh, no. I don't see anything. Oh. Uh, warn Caitlin or lift car? What? Something is coming. Warn Caitlin or lift car. Why would I lift car? What would lift car do? I keep the car from getting damaged, I guess? I feel like I need to warn Caitlyn, right? I, I wish I could warn Caitlyn and lift the car. So, I don't know, Caitlyn would be on top of the car, which would be, eh, no, that probably would be too safe. Uh, I'm gonna warn Caitlyn, I think. I think that's the way to go here. I think lifting car, lifting car seems like I'm just trying to save the car from getting destroyed. Um, the scrawled note requests you to keep something off the books. Yeah, yeah, okay, so we saw that. Oh, wait, oh, but wait, there's a new update about it. That's what it wants me to see. Notice referring to Max's car. Travis wanted to keep it off the books in case anyone came looking for them. Yeah. All right. Warn Caitlin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was that's exactly what I wanted. Okay. I didn't think of inside the car. Dylan, get the damn werewolf on the damn car! Uh, oh. Hurry the fuck up! Uh slam car sound horn. Slam car or sound horn. Um I mean, werewolves probably have really good hearing, right? Werewolves probably have really good hearing, so... I mean, we saw it with the frequency that we used. But would it be enough to scare the werewolf off the car? I... I don't... I don't know. Could, do we have to slam it? Couldn't we just wiggle it a little bit? <laughs> Um, slamming the car holds the potential to harm Caitlyn, right? Oh, this is another one of those decisions, isn't it? Fuck me. This is another one of those decisions. Um, huh. Well then. Fuck me. Uh, so, yeah, there's two things to think about here. You're a werewolf. Werewolf probably sensitive to noise. The question is, would horn be enough to, like, spook you off of it and make you fall? Um, I don't think that's a guarantee. I don't think that's a guarantee. It would probably hurt your ears a little bit, but I don't know if it would make you fall or scare you enough, because, I mean, I used the horn, and that's what drew you over here. Right? Yeah, I just used the horn, and you didn't seem to really give a shit. So, I think I have to slam the car here. I'm not even going to think about it anymore. Slam car. Slam car. Because the horn didn't seem to work. Slam car might potentially hurt Caitlyn. Please don't die, Caitlyn. Please don't die if I slam the car. I really wish it was, like, wiggle car. Because it seems like I could just throw it around and it would fly off, maybe? Oh, God. Yeah, it's just vague enough that I'm not sure. I... I just... Don't know if playing the horn would be enough. Fuck, now I'm doubting myself again. Now I'm doubting myself again. I don't think the horn's gonna be enough. I don't think the horn's gonna be enough. I think I have to slam the car, right? Caitlyn's safely inside of it. As long as I don't do anything too crazy, I think Caitlyn will be fine. Maybe come away with a few bumps and bruises, but slam car. Slam, slam, slam car. I was pressing it. <sighs> God damn it. Dylan, Drop it on it, drop it on it! Come on, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it! Dylan, please! Please! Oh! <sighs> 
Oh my god. That was stressful. No. Oh god. Now which one were you, you fuck? Heart can't take this. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. <laughs> Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay. Back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. Path updated. Well, I don't have a car. So is that werewolf dead? It wasn't exactly silver, but I dropped a fucking car on it, so... I don't know. Maybe? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm glad I went with slam the car. I was worried that, that there was some way that... That Caitlyn could potentially get hurt there. I didn't even think about her not locking the door. So the door would just come open? I didn't even think about that. I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah, I mean, that she probably wasn't thinking about, you know, locking it, I suppose. Or the door just came open on its own when I was swinging it around. But... Yeah, I was worried Caitlyn was like, I don't know, her head was gonna go through a fucking windshield or something and she was gonna die like that. When she fell out, I thought for sure she was dead. Um, but I don't know if car horn would have worked as well there. Right? Car horn may have, like, scared it off, possibly? But I have no way of knowing if that was gonna work or not. I- there's two- there's two routes to this. Either I just saved Caitlyn's life and that was the correct choice, or... I could have done the horn, the werewolf would have ran off because the noise was too loud, and I would have myself a car right now. Alright. Paths. Team building. Dylan and Caitlin with the scrapyard. Caitlin and Dylan worked together to escape the scrapyard. Hell yeah, we did. So if I would have just lifted the car, Caitlin would have died, I'm imagining, right? Like, that would have just been me betraying Caitlin straight up. Okay, glad I didn't do that again. All right, Lara, what's happening? We about to murder the entire Hackett family? Oh, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. We could have some tantric... Excuse me, that is just a werewolf. We could have some hot tantric werewolf sex. Since you two seem to be into each other. Just saying. That is just a werewolf chained up. I don't know who that is. Could that be Max? Or could that be Nick? I don't know, but we've we've killed one of them, I'm pretty sure. Unless that was like the other Hackett kid that I killed. Wait, they did mention that they had cells, right? For them, so maybe that was the other Hackett kid, because we've only killed Kaylee. Right? But they weren't freaking out saying that I killed another kid when I when when you shot, so I'm guessing it wasn't one of their kids. Yeah, I don't think it was one of their kids. Let's see, scrapyard note, room still, miner's lunchbox. Yeah, none of this is what I need. Yeah, so I don't I don't think I killed their kid. I think if I'd killed their kid, Constance would have been freaking out about that too. So I think that was Max. Or Nick, unfortunately. Sorry, Max or Nick. I'm pretty sure you would have killed Jacob when the door is opened. So, that would have been a no bueno. So, yeah, it's funny because... I think the scene is supposed to be telling me that it's too dark for them to see what's over there. 
because they're not commenting on it yet. <laughs> Because there's been a few times where it'll be like, where the scene will be like, Haha, you can't see now, can you? But I can totally still see. But I think that's just so that the viewer can still see. Uh, alright, let's go over here. Before I continue anything else, um, we should probably take another peek at this. Right? Uh, so, I don't shoot. You turn into werewolf... You seemingly kill all of them, I do not shoot you, and things are fine. Right? You get stabbed with something, what is that? Is that like a silver knife or something? Does Lara die if this happens? Is this telling me that Lara dies if I don't shoot? Or is this good that Lara is killing them? Sometimes you have to take a chance, karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely, though the wheel spins, the eagle eyes can tell where it's going to stop. It feels like I'm supposed to not stop you. <laughs> but. Watch your step. Yep. Yeah, are we gonna talk about that? I'm surprised it's not like roaring at us. Okay, we can't get over there. Uh, hey buddy, I'll get to you in just a second. It's not, okay, invisible walls, okay. What was that? Yeah, they can't see. I think we found Chris Hackett. <gasps> okay, this is Chris. Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. That's not good. That's really shit. Silver-backed mirror. Fuck. Fuck. Um... Let's see. Bloody... So we got an update of Bloodied Caller. Ian? Uh... Who's Ian anyway? We, we still have a question mark about that one. Chris Hackett killed the camp mascot on the night Lara and Max were kidnapped. When hiding in the storm shelter, he devoured Ian in an attempt to satiate his appetite. It didn't work. That's what happened? Killed the camp mascot, so that was the dog. We had a camp mascot dog, and you ate the dog to try and stop yourself from turning. Weird. Okay, well, this is definitely the scene happening right here. I don't know if it's going to play out the same way, because Ryan doesn't have the gun, right? So, I don't think I'm going to have a choice here. I think Wheel of Fortune just isn't going to happen. The way- I, I don't think there's any way I can make any difference in this. I don't have the gun, straight up. So... Silverback mirror, yeah. Hmm. So, I think the way I would have made it to this outcome is... If I hadn't killed Constance, so Bobby hadn't stabbed Ryan. Correct? Because Ryan looks perfectly healthy there. So... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have a choice here. Bobby! The gun! Oh. Oh, God. Okay, okay, wait, 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 no, I think I see what's happening here. It- the- the wheel is telling me to not 
shoot Lara because Lara is about to be stabbed by a silverback mirror. I'm hoping that shotgun has silver bullets in it and I have to shoot Chris, right? Sorry, I keep pausing during these cutscenes, but it feels important to get this extra bit of uh, context here. Not to remove the knife, had to exasperate. Ryan removed the knife and stabbed Bobby. Ryan chose to accept the bite. Bobby was weakened and unable to defend himself against Chris because I stabbed him. Damn. Uh, that is Chris, right? That is Chris. I think I need to shoot Chris. I think I need to shoot Chris. <gasps> yes! Yes! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? think this is over? This isn't over. Uh, I don't oh. understand. Chris is dead. Silas. Oh. Well, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. Oh. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. Blech. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the, the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. In what world would I help you, suspicious? I mean, we'll be suspicious, but I don't know. We kind of did fuck them over with all of these things we're doing. So, yeah, Caleb got bit by Silas, but Silas is the main problem. Where is Caleb now? Yeah, and God, you, you seem sh very calm for your father, mother, brother, and... Uh, daughter I don't know if it's your or Chris's daughter Kaylee um yeah it see you seem really calm for all that to happen but I guess there's a lot of shit going on but I think because I was nice to Travis Travis didn't kill me I think because I was nice to Travis Travis did not kill me so, Caleb infected both his father and his sister six years ago, sometime after this photo was taken, and now he's the only one left alive. 
Okay. Um. So, was Caleb the one that was at the junkyard? Maybe? Maybe Caleb was the one at the junkyard. I, I mean, I think at this point, the only one that could be is... Caleb... Nick... Or Emma, I guess. Are Nick and Emma cured? Because you were infected... Well, no, because you were... <sighs> okay, Lara was infected... By Chris. And Lara infected Ryan, so I think Lara and Ryan are good now. I do not, however... Think that Nick is good, unless that was Chris, but that would have been impossible because Chris has been chained up down here the whole time. So... Yeah, who was the one that attacked... Uh, Nick? I mean, I, I guess the hunters captured... Chris then, so it could have been Chris that infected Nick? I don't know, that's a- that's a- that's a lot to think about, and Emma was obviously infected by Max. Because she got infected at the island. So... If Max is dead, then Emma's cured. Oh my god, this is a lot to think about. Uh, alright, so, yeah. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Nope, we want to look at clues. Uh... Yeah, we just got a lot revealed. Ranger box, back in the woods. Uh, the Hackets have least supplies for when their infected family members turn back at dawn after a full moon. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And two updates for things I don't have. And that appears to be it. As far as paths go, the White Whale. Yep. Trav Lara did not shoot Travis. Ryan shot Chris Hackett with silver, cut hearing his line of infection. Ryan survived the ordeal at the Hackett house. Yes! Ryan is alive! Because I shot Chris. Yeah, I wasn't gonna let someone else die because I refused to shoot the gun. I was gonna shoot that damn gun this time, I tell you what. Okay, and a pound of flesh. Not to remove the knife. Had, careful not to exacerbate, remove the knife, stab Bobby. Chose to accept Lara's offer. Bobby was weakened and unable to defend himself. Ryan was saved from blood loss. Good. Good. So I had I had the infection just long enough to close up my wounds and then got rid of it. Perfect. Awesome. Good. Why should I trust you? Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone uh who's still alive anyway. Oh. Okay, okay. So where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. This probably doesn't mean he forgives us for the family. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? Oh boy! Action packed, I would call that episode. You oh had boy. your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Fuck you. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. <laughs> All right, calm down, weirdo. The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. 
Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned, a fate deserved. Likely, but he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? So, I feel like judgment is about Travis. Yes, good, but I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. Hmm. Okay, so we got some updates about clues and things here, it looks like. Hackett, or hunting trophy wall. Spoils of the Hackett's, yeah. The Hackett's killed these animals with silver after they survived werewolf bites and became infected. There's no telling what this infection would do to non-humans, but it seems the Hackett's didn't want to find out. Oh! They were animals that survived werewolf bites. Okay, so you do have to actually survive the bite, and that's how you turn into a werewolf. So that's why Abigail's just proper dead, because I was wondering, I was like, wait, how wait, couldn't Abigail regenerate? But no, that thing probably ate Abigail until she was like a couple of bones. So that's why you weren't able to recover from it. It's not like, you know, a lot of the times in like zombie fiction and stuff, someone will be getting torn apart by zombies and then they'll still get up, you know, after being torn apart by zombies because they didn't eat everything. But I'm guessing Abigail had everything eaten. Um, all right, that's everything there. Paths. So yeah, we chose to work with Travis. So... Yeah, uh-huh. Travis decided to work with us to find Silas. Yeah, I mean, that feels like it's going to be pretty useful, right? Ryan is still alive. Laura, Travis, and Ryan des decided to get to work together to find Silas, so... Wow, could you have gotten to this point and it's just Lara? Like, if I had, instead of using the syringe on Travis, if I had shot Travis, and then Ryan died here, it would just be Lara? <laughs> you could maybe even get here with nobody alive. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, let's go look at our tarot. <sighs> this is a hard choice, because this shows Caitlyn and death. It could mean change, transition, transformation. So this could either mean Caitlyn is straight up gets... I'm saving Caitlyn from being murdered, or I'm potentially infecting Caitlyn so she can survive. I tell you, there's still time to wake up. Your life hangs with balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. This one is obviously about Silas. I mean, it has a white wolf, right? So this simply must be about Silas. So this is potentially a way to help me find Silas. But we have Travis to lead us there. Bells of Fury, do they? Fury of Hatred earned, a fate deserved, likely. But he may have his uses, though he won't forgive, he won't forget. Yeah, see, I'm worried about Travis. I, I, I think I'm going to pass on the sun. Travis is working with us, but Travis is also very pissed off at us, probably, that we killed his family. So, I would not put it past Travis to betray us at the end. But do I want to do I want to go for potentially having the option to save Caitlyn or do I want to have a reveal about when Travis potentially betrays us? Yeah. He may have his uses, though he won't forgive, he won't forget. Yeah, see, I just don't like the idea of trusting Travis because Travis has all the reasons to betray us. All the reasons in the world. In this case, it just means death. So this is... I think I'm going to go for death because this seems like it dodges a potential Caitlyn death. I'll just know what to do in case Caitlyn gets in trouble again. 
Travis, I'm just going to have to keep an eye on, I think. I'm going to have to be wary of Travis and when I can trust him. So, let's go death. Death, please. Death, please? What? Hello? Okay, there we go. I was using D-pad and it didn't work. Okay, that wasn't even Caitlyn. One last time. Go back. Go back and end this. One final chapter. So you want me to just super murder the Hackett's? I mean, to be fair, there's only like two of them alive. I mean... <laughs> oh, wow! Sorry, I was pressing start because I wanted to, uh... <laughs> I was pressing start because I wanted to, um, uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, end things off for the episode. And, uh, yeah, the start screen spoiled me on you still being alive. Welcome back into the fold, Max. So it wasn't you I killed in the cage, so that must have been Nick. So Nick is dead. Well, like I said, Abigail and Nick dying. And it checks out, at least. They're together in heaven. Yay! <laughs> All right, so we're max for this part. Interesting. So uh, that is cool. Um, so let's let's just rewatch Death again here. This looks like Lara. Okay, and I think that's Silas. So when you're crawling away, Silas is going to snap your neck and eat you. If I don't do something about it. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't really give me a lot to go on. Doesn't really give me a lot to go on at all. It's just you kind of crawling away. I guess the answer is if there's an option to crawl or grab a weapon. Grab a weapon is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. That doesn't really give me a ton to go on. Kind of wish I went with Judgment now, but, you know, hindsight 2020 and all that. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll uh, see you next episode, Max. Find out what you've been up to. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.